physical therapy. I'm gonna go All to my right. mom's house. I'm gonna Vlog get is posted. Fuck, man. Check it out. Wednesday was a wash, man. It sucked. And I also went live for like 30 minutes okay. testing out the Even chat. I didn't get a single offer. I drove for like 45 minutes. Testing out the chat uh, feature on OBS. So let's head out of here. Oh, I got to deposit the cash I made yesterday. The red chair sitting there waiting. Okay, deposit cash. Go to my parents' house. What else do I got to do? I don't know. Join me. So last night I, I went back to the Grove and it was surging. And I waited for a short ride where I can come back. Did it. Ended up getting a $15 ride. Three UM students dropping off at three different locations right next to each other. Like one of them lived on campus, the other one lived at the Standard, and then the other one lived in a frat house. So you know, it got increased in price. It was like a $15 ride from the Grove down to UM. And then the chick who ordered the Uber tipped me five bucks. It was a $20 ride from the Grove. Man, the Grove, Thursday nights, you gotta hit it. Even if you do two or three rides. I try to do a ride close by, come back, do a ride maybe going longer distance to campus and then back but if you can get one going to Kendall which I did last night I had another like $13 ride to Kendall which isn't it, at that time at 2.30 3 in the morning from Coconut Grove US 1 to the expressway I believe they call it the Don Shula it's easy to get to Kendall it's easy to get anywhere really besides the airport from the Grove. So, so hey, I got, I made $99.50, bro. It was 50 cents short of a C note. But of course, I had the $35 private ride and then the $60 private ride. So, technically, your boy broke 200 yesterday. Technically. Just not all through the Uber app. So much needed little relief on a Thursday because Wednesday was so miserable. So today is Friday and I think my game plan is just bite the bullet. Maybe that should be the title of this video. I'm just gonna activate. I'm gonna ignore traffic. Obviously I don't wanna get caught in it, but what are you gonna do? You gotta bite the bullet. I wonder where that where that phrase came from. I should look that up. Um, <clears throat> because times are tough, man, and you realize at the end of the day, like when I was talking to my buddy at the group chat at the airport, we were just lamenting over how bad the air airport rides were. Oh, by the way, at like 3 in the morning last night, the group chat was blowing up. There was a, like a $7 peak surge at the airport. At 3 in the morning, it was like two flights coming in. And then the lot was empty. Because everybody's getting burned at the airport. So they're like, fuck the airport. So who knows? Maybe the fact that people are sick and tired of getting burned at the airport, maybe they're, they're going to increase their rates. But at three o'clock there was a surge and they were still sending kind of mediocre offers out. Even if nobody was available, the demand was high and there was no supply. And it was still sending shitty rides. Who knows what's going on, man. So if that's the case, then I'm just gonna activate, take it easy, drive down, drive old ladies from Sedano's to their house, drive people that work at KFC, <laughs> drive, you know, ladies coming out of Walmart. <sighs> I don't know. Drive a guy from the fucking local barber shop. I don't know. Just We just got to do crappy, short distance, little rides and suffer 
the the not the weather the the traffic. All right, let's go to my parents' house. I am hungry. Uh oh. I got news for you, Meatball. It looks like tomorrow. It's over for you. Meatball, you're going home tomorrow. No more Tio Mayo giving you good treats. Premium treats. Picadillo, chicken, pork. Celery, soda cracker. No, the picadillo no nos hace nada. Pero yo le di picadillo el día después que que acabó. Are you gonna die, Meatball, because of my fault? <laughs> and when do they pick them up tomorrow, Mommy? When do they pick them up tomorrow? Oh, in the morning? So this is the last vlog with Meatball. This is your last vlog, Meatball. Say bye-bye to all your followers. Hmm? What are you saying? This is your last vlog. <laughs> He's worried. <laughs> What's the matter? No. Have you ever seen no eggs? That's it. That's your going away present, Meatball. That's it. It's over. It's over. You're done, Meatball. You're done. No more. They left you all alone, Meatball. They left you. What's this? Oh, do I have your attention? So, um, update, I don't have to go to physical therapy today, miracle. They called me and said I'm going too often, so we need to spread out the uh, amount of visits. So I'm going three times a week instead of every day. And I'm checking out the live stream I did earlier today to see how the quality is. And um, it's 7.20. And so far, so good. Let's see when I, when I start putting all those widgets and shit and start chatting. But, um, you know, I'm figuring it out, you know. Bear with me, you know. It's, these are not going to be entertaining chat live streams. They're just going to be me kind of reading the chat and talking, figuring things out as we go along. You know, I'm not going to do a guest or anything or anything crazy. I still need... Safari set every, a lot of things up need to be set up. All right, that, hey, something. that doesn't look bad. It's not exactly the shape I wanted. Let me know if you guys. I mean, are that that doesn't that look chat. like it's lagging that bad.
I fell asleep. And then I hear a meatball chewing on everything on your resting. So much for biting the bullet and dealing with traffic. Well, I guess there's still traffic right now. 545. Oh, God. That private guy coming in for Lauderdale at 8. 745, 8. So by 7, I gotta start heading over there. Which means I could just do one ride out of the Miami airport and head over there. So let's see how we can do this. Of course, now look, Gables by the Sea has like extreme surge. Like, who, who, who would know that? And how do you even get there? You have to like cross. It's like cross the security gate to be where those surges are. All right, I passed by here by Chase, but the fucking line to use the goddamn ATM. Inside and outside, it's like four people on each. It's like, bro, I'll just put this money in tomorrow. Uh, I fell asleep watching uh, Austin's YouTube playlist. It has a bunch of streamers on it. You know, catered to 12-year-old boys. And these guys, they're not that young, by the way. One of them's got a full beard. And they just stream and talk shit while they play fucking um, Minecraft. And then they watch YouTube videos and comment on them. And I'm like, is that is that what? Is that a thing? Like, why are you why are you playing a video game? Like, if you're gonna comment on some shit. Just comment on some shit. Why do you have to be playing a video game at the same time? But I guess that's the way it is. Um, I don't play modern video games, but I guess I could try to do that and play like Mike Tyson's Punch Out or something. Or play <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're headed to the airport. It's fucking, the sun is still blazing out, so I didn't miss much. I don't know, I feel like Doing that will be adding to the uh, attention deficit disorder problem of the youth of this country. Uh, that XT6 in front of me is a Cadillac midsize SUV. And I've mentioned this before, but that car, I believe, qualifies for the most Uber categories I've seen. It qualifies for Premier and premier SUV, as well as comfort and all of the other things. It just does not come, but obviously it won't qualify for green or comfort electric. But bro, if you could do premier and premier SUV rides in a $50,000, starts at 50 grand, that's not a bad little investment there, huh? But you can get a used one, fuck. It's not a not a bad looking car either, you know. It's probably really comfortable. Filling up the tank here. 351 a gallon. Gas hasn't gone up that much. Still find it around 350. This Cuban pizza place attached to this Sunoco. It's like if you got a designer, you couldn't design this. That mannequin, the graphic design on the windows, the photos. All right, let's see what kind of stuff we can get. I feel like it's gonna be a late night for me. All right, airport lot says medium weight. During the depression. And 27 flights. Let's see what the offers look like. All right, some radars started to come in. This one was 
the highest one, $14 to Miami Shores. Let's see if anything else comes in. We're here, the sun is blazing hot. And we're just starting our day. This is not a bad radar, but it's just going south. I need it to go either east or north. Well, it is 6.45, I'm at 46.50 in the queue. This is getting to that time where I probably have to take something if I want to make it to Fort Lauderdale in an hour, hour and 15 minutes. You know, I need to take something if I want to get something before that ride. Planning out airport private rides to Fort Lauderdale is not easy. All right, I'm at 26 to 30, bro. I'd hate to leave here. Close to the line. And not only close to the line, wish you all the best, but like without a ride. Blank. Just give me something to downtown so I can get close to the 95 entrance. Man, the best would be like Hollywood. Oh, give me like a $30 ride to Hollywood. It would should be thirty-five dollar ride to Hollywood, but in these days everything's five dollars cheaper. Seven. I'm at sixteen to twenty, bro. Give me something, bro. Fucking, this is the, how it's like. You know, if I didn't have another ride, this wouldn't be so frustrating. But this is how you realize, like, man, you we waste a lot of time in this fucking lot, bro. And then they send the shitty orders. Six to ten. Come on, bro. Don't let me down, Uber. Give me something, bro. Give me something headed in that direction. Well, one to five, bro. Come on. Should be getting an offer soon. Fucking sun is almost down. When I got here, it was blazing on the back of my neck. All right, fuck, bro. No, I can't go to South Miami, bro. It's funny. Wherever you want to go, they'll send you the opposite fucking direction. All right, this is close to the 95 exit. What a fucking shitty ride. Midtown, 951. Oh, uh, well, we got to pray for a fucking tip. You know how important tips are, guys? Give me a $5 tip on this and I won't consider it a complete loss. Good luck. All right, we're here at the drop off this place called Central. Looks like a nice little boutique hotel. It looks pretty nice. So father and son, Argentinian, uh, they're nice enough. I think it was the first time they used Uber, so who knows, they might tip. It was like figuring out how to, how to work the app. Um, yeah, it's funny. Like I've picked up several Argentinians in this, in hotels in this area, and I think it's not uncommon for specific people. They log off because we're going to Fort Lauderdale at the airport. When uh, when a hotel or an area becomes popular in a certain country or you know city in a, in a certain country, like. They tell their friends and family, and then everybody, you, you notice that people from a certain uh, country frequent certain establishments more often than others. And even if it has nothing to do with it, it's not like that's an Argentinian hotel. Fuck, bro. God damn it. Why don't you, you're a fucking bus. Can you put the fucking signal on and maybe let me through? Asshole, instead of fucking squeezing this fucking tight space here. God damn it. I got this fucking Range Rover on back of me. All right, let me calm down. Fort Lauderdale Airport. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. The guy's flight hasn't arrived yet, so we'll be there right on time. See you at the airport. Uh, God so damn it, bro. The fucking accident on 95... And now there's a goddamn train. Yeah, that's the thing with Uber, man. That's the benefit of Uber. 
is you're calling cars that are nearby. You know? When you have a planned ride, it's not conducive for airports. That's why my business idea, kind of stay away from airports. We don't need the, the hassle of airports. You know? I'm not saying that it couldn't work, but there has to be a better system. All right. I'm in Brickell. Just dropped off my private client down here. We made it. He's got a dinner with in investors he's helping out. Um, he's staying at his girlfriend's house. I said, hey man, I'll, I'll pick up your girlfriend and we'll I'll take you guys where you need to go. It's like three blocks away from the destination. So all good. Um, paid me in cash this time, so awesome. I'm glad I didn't go to the bank, so now I can deposit all the cash I made. And we're in Brickle. Let's do airport rides. Or let's see what's going on. All right, we are on 11th Street, right in front of Space and 11. And I'm asking myself, is this a night where I need to suffer this place at four in the fucking morning? Because nothing's ringing right now. No one needs to be anywhere right now. Nobody in Brickle needs to be anywhere. Nobody's doing nothing. It's dead. It's dead. Oh, you think Miami was a nightlife city? Well, it's fucking Friday night. And I ain't got shit. Look at that. Look at that. Big city. Big city full of nightlife. Full of dreams. Full of young people. And nothing. I'm scraping the fucking bottom of the barrel at the airport. God damn it, bro. We need, I need to develop this. I talked to this guy about my idea, man. He says he's got some programmer friends, man. Maybe we can make my app a reality. I shouldn't even talk about it that much here because somebody's going to steal my fucking idea because it's evolving. My idea is evolving. And uh, it's funny, he his ears perked up because he says he's a coder, too. And he talked to his friend about my idea. And uh, I think he's interested. So, we'll see. But as far as right now, right here, right now, what the fuck do we do to get rides on a Friday night in Miami, Florida? I might have to take drunk people home tonight, man. I might have to just do as many little airport rides as I can, suffer the fucking lot, rest up, and hit that nightlife, bro. Hey, the Grove was pretty jamming with college kids last night, and right now, they all want to get fucked up. Go to 11, go to Space, go to the Corner Club here in Brickell. You know? Kids need to go out. Need to see girls looking hot. They need to get laid. Come on. What are we doing here, people? We're wasting time. You're in your fucking 20s? This is the time. This is the time, people. God damn it. You should have seen these girls outside of the fucking sandbar last night. Ugh. All right, we are at the airport lot, queue full. I'm gonna go find some of my buddies from the group chat and hang out a little bit. Okay, waiting here for my offer. I received this 515 airport ride. Miller Drive to the airport. Doesn't look too bad. At that time, zero traffic. Accepted it. Immediately, within the minute, received this one. 59th Avenue, South Miami, that's by UM to the airport, 415. So this one's first, and that one's second. All right, I'll do it. You know what? I was just bitching about how I can't be picky, and I gotta do what I gotta do, or else we're fucked. Um, all right, I'm at the airport. I might do late night, and end with these two reservations, which both of these reservations will count for tomorrow, Saturday. But hey, 
like to start Saturday off with at least $40 minus whatever tip I get. $40 to start a Saturday when I know this Friday isn't looking very good so far. That's good. All right, $14, almost $15, $14 and some change to Miami Beach. So, fuck, bro, this was a $20 ride. $15 rides are for downtown. $20 rides is the extra little fucking five, six minutes you have to go to cross the bridge to Miami Beach. But now, it's the opposite. It's, I got a $9 ride to downtown and a $14 and some change ride to Miami Beach. So which one am I gonna do? I'm gonna do the Miami Beach one. Even though I have to drive further, at the end of the day, $15 is better than $9. All right, dropped off that guy, nice guy. And guess what his side hustle was? We're here in Miami Beach, Collins and Eighth. I'd be surprised if I don't get a fucking drunk tourist, bro. This is exactly where I fucking find myself every time I go to the beach. Right by Mango's Cafe and the touristy part of Miami Beach. I got Willie calling me on the phone. I gotta call him back during this guy, uh, this guy's ride. Dude, this guy had a side hustle selling Pokemon cards and I was like, bro, I just w discovered a card collection I had and I have some Pokemon cards. I don't know what the fuck, how the fuck to price them because first of all, some of them are in Japanese. He's like, dude, you have Japanese Pokemon? I'm like, yeah. And I got a fucking Pikachu, bro. And he's like, dude, I'm telling you, you got money there. Oh my God, look at this girl's fucking ass. <laughs> oh shit. What? Oh my God. It's a crime. It's a crime what's happening in South Beach right now. Oh Lord. Bro, and people just cross the street, like all oh, fucking cars don't have the right to turn into a fucking street on a green light. Anyways, the guy was telling me that Pokemon, um, a Pikachu card where it's old Pikachu and he looks kind of like a fat pudgy Pikachu, that it might be worth money, so. I'm gonna look up that card, bro. Here we are, Miami Beach. Nothing is ringing, not even a short ride. Like, really? Like, no one is here at the Colony Hotel and needs a ride to a restaurant right now or a nightclub. Nobody, nobody? Nobody walking down the street needs a fucking Uber? Nobody? It's like I need a, a goddamn sign that says, you know, will Uber. Look at this guy's holding up a fucking Uber light. How come I'm not getting his ride? He's holding up a purple light on his phone. I guess the, the beacon turns the, that color. All right, let me call Willie back. All right, I called back Willie, and as I was talking to him, another reservation, 5.45 a.m. So it looks like I'm gonna have a busy fucking morning. <sighs> busy morning ahead of me. Uh, so I don't wanna go too crazy tonight because then I'm not gonna be awake for all that shit. I wanna hit that ground running. As a matter of fact. All right, this guy, Pokemon guy tipped me fucking five bucks and some change. So that ended up being a $20 and 35 cent ride. God bless this guy. That's what I'm talking about, man. You know, why can't every airport customer be as cool as that guy? This is a fucking cool guy. He told, he's from Ohio. He says he does Uber on the weekends too. He does it part time, but he's an Uber driver. He knows the hustle. He was asking me about the airport lot. I was like an open book. And then we got into the topic of collecting cards. And wouldn't you know it, the guy knew a lot about it. He says he, dude, he says he can make fucking six to 12 grand a month just off his fucking Pokemon card business. He says he doesn't open up a brick and mortar because it's, he, he doesn't need to. But he was deep into the Pokemon shit. He referenced me a website that I'm gonna check out for, for pricing my Pokemon card. So I'm thankful for that. Awesome. All right. Heading back to the airport. All right, bro. 
I'm here at the True by Hilton, bro. I don't know, Mo. Recently, the clientele here has been a bunch of fucking delinquents from Orlando <laughs> staying in Miami. Uh, are you my ride, bro? Yeah. No, hey, bro, you look drunk, bro. I'm looking, I I'm looking for an Uber. Oh, yeah, bro, you look drunk, bro. I'm hey, sorry. You shaved finally. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you laughed like you look hey, like man. <laughs> hey, man, I can't have you in this car, bro. You smell, you smell like marijuana, dog. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> my pocket smells like marijuana. I haven't smoked it. <laughs> so there's no way you can smell my pocket from inside the car. Like, you, you just know. All right. It. All right, bro. Get in. Get, get in. Right, right. In the back of the front. Yeah. No, in the front, bro. Thank you. Say hello. Funny, Say hello to Willie Q. What's up, dog? My number one subscriber. Sub. Subscriber. It's subscriber. You put on my. In my not wearing a seatbelt. So, yo, these people have been looking at me like. The cops oh, like why, what? bro? Look at me, man. Okay. <laughs> you look, look like a me, you look like a well-adjusted yeah. human being, bro. You got, a polo, you got a polo shirt. <laughs> no, when Your I came back to my long, bro. Yeah, when I came back to my mom's house, like I wanted to park because I have a new car. I, would, I didn't want anybody around. Oh, you but, have a carro del año. 2023, okay. <laughs> so I I moved to like three or four different spots, right? Because I want like one guy was over the line, so whatever. I got to where I was. Where are we going, dog? I don't know, dude. Why are you fucking recording me? <laughs> you driving, dog? This is what I do. I'm an Uber driver. Yeah, I'm an Uber driver. We're going in circles. Right. This is no, what we're doing. Like, Chipotle here. We I'm are going doing... to Jersey Mike's, yeah, bro. We're... Fuck it. Wait, wait, Willie. Really, do you have any interesting stories about me and my comedy days that maybe my subscribers would like to know? I do. You do? Yeah. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me park and we'll tell it. No, problem is I'm not going to tell you any <laughs> I have many stories. Like, like, I know things. You just don't say those things. That's oh, I know. A story you could say. I mean, I would, well, dude, no. I'm not a controversial comic. I'm not even talking about controversial, bro. It's just like... Is Jersey Mike's say, open, bro? bro? I'll do a sub, bro. If you don't do this... Oh, the, oh, it has you, the key for the yeah, elevator? The key, I used yeah. to hate that with DoorDash. Yeah, from, it isn't from the fourth floor. It's all pilots. <laughs> yeah, I dropped off some pilots here. This is, I remember in my vlogs, I always say, if you're staying in Miami, stay at the True. Are you filming everything? Yeah, bro. Yeah, Film by, True by Hilton. All right, fine. No, I'm just doing the, oh, shit, I just, oh, sorry. I'm just doing a hotel review, I'm, bro. Now I'm nervous, bro. I'm not, I'm not going to film everything. Come Mario's on. here, baby. Hello, sir, your Uber Eats is ready. <laughs> this is a it's a nice hotel. Come on, man, Willie, you're the star of my vlog now, bro. Hey, bro, this is this is nice, bro, to have all these options as a as a as a, as a customer at this hotel. You know what the best option is? You know, and it's clean. This is a clean, nice place. There you go. All right, you know they charge you for that water, right? No, they don't, bro. <laughs> this is Willie on surf trips every fucking day. Hey, you want a beer? <laughs> Home too. Bro, I should get a sponsorship for this hotel. I recommend it. It's, it's a nice hotel. hotel. It's easy, yeah. Easy in and out, too. You don't have to go through the bullshit at the end of the Ooh, this is Sports Grill. Special Grill. Bro, when you told me you were going to Sports Grill, I'm like, why are you so Miami, Willie? I didn't go anywhere. They brought it to me. The going is going to sports girl. Okay. Welcome to True Help. Oh. <laughs> well, you, you know, really, you always mess me up when I have an idea. You know, that's why maybe with our surf trips, I was always no, frustrated. Because <laughs> I was like, I had a train of thought, and then you would break my train of thought. And now I'm in the car vlogging to myself, so... Now I'm in the train of thought to try to say what I was trying to say to you while you were talking before. <laughs> and I was like, Welcome yeah. to movie phone, right? If you know the name of the movie you'd like to hear, press one, right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right? <laughs> That's the same voice. Yeah, I like movie guy voice. Alright, so this is the rooftop. Look how nice this yeah, is, bro. View, you got the airport? Bro, yeah, look, look. This is an airport view. It's dope. It was amazing, dude. So look, here you have a little lounge. You can watch the air airplanes fly out, and then over here is a lagoon, right? Yeah. Bro, this that's is a, nice, bro. That, that's a true and lagoon. And this is, a, is it a true lagoon? Blue lagoon. <laughs> what if you throw green beans in there? Is it a blue look, bro, lagoon? Bro, a pool table? What? Pool Want to get your ass whooped? Bro, you know I'll beat you, bro. You, wanna play? you know I'll beat you, dog. All right. 
This is Blue Lagoon. How cool right. is this, Mario? Bro, honestly, but like you don't get this shit in some of the in some luxury resorts on Miami Beach, bro. Dude, how cool is this, bro? Bro. It's fucking amazing. Bro. I'm telling you, when I did DoorDash here and I saw this this uh rooftop by mistake going out because I was delivering to somebody I think who I, I took the 10th floor by mistake or something and I'm like bro for a cheap budget hotel this is baller as shit right it's like I mean, 170 it, like 179 yeah it's just and it's right by the airport and, and you got the 170 room as, I bet you there's cheaper rooms no but as bro. close as you get the 57th Avenue if you want to go to the airport yeah, you, you, you almost don't even need an Uber, although I've picked up people to go to, to the airport from here because I have luggage. Downstairs, okay. clean pool. Bro, I'm getting reservations like crazy. So um, he, I'm, lo I'm making him lose money. It's literally what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah really. I don't have time for friends, bro. $700 of Jacksonville. Should I go or not? <laughs> I think it's a deal. I just got a tip from a ride I did Monday. Perfect. I probably cussed this lady out because she didn't tip. Let me give him a better tip. Never play leapfrog with a unicorn. No better tip than that. Uh, as you can tell, Willie Q also- As you can see, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> also had a turmoil in his comedy <laughs> career. <laughs> yeah, total turmoil. Uh, I'm the, I'm the, I, I am the one who discovered subscribe. Is that what you people don't know? Like you have to go back to the beginning of his vlogs to d discover them for subscribe. <laughs> So Willie likes to take credit for no, things I don't that want I credit. do, and then, I he, want, and, then, and then he likes to, when I do things for him, he likes to say that I didn't do credit, like, like what do you, like, I told him exactly. he should do one day give videos. Me an example. You, yeah, that was you? There's no fucking way that was you, dog. I mean, this is 24 I know, I know. Willie, that's pretty funny, you should do that every yeah. Monday. You know who the real person was? Chucky. Chucky. Okay. Chucky, yeah. Chucky was the first one that he saw it first of all. I, went to go, I posted it and I went to go surf South Beach and he was like, bro, that's pretty funny. You should do that all, more often. That, I you're conflating me and no, Chucky. No, I'm not bro. conflating nothing. There's no cornflakes inflating nothing. But, oh, hold on, I just, I, just, I just got something. Bing -bing -bing. Oh, my logo oh, with the cheese. Willie's bougie now because he's got an Apple Watch. You know, he's not like us poor people with yeah. the Casio. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing that watch on purpose. Like people don't know. <laughs> you see, you see this like baseball card set, and he's coming out a fucking a little fucking watch. I'll trade you this Apple Watch for all your cards. No, that's not gonna happen. No, I, I don't think my baseball cards are worth that Apple Watch, bro. Two hundred and something dollars. All your baseball cards? Maybe. maybe. Deal. Maybe. Let's do it. No, no. Right. All right. No, bro. You started saying, what day is it? Monday, because it because I was having a hard time waking up. Or I was frustrated going back to work on Mondays. And then you were, you were doing that on your Instagram to fuck with me. You were like, what day is it? Monday! And then I was like, and because you knew that I would be the first one yeah, to check so, it and yeah, be like, that fuck with me. Specifically for you. <laughs> and then I Mario home. doesn't like Mondays. And then the fact, you watch up. the fact that Mondays was my fucking day off, and it was my favorite fucking day of the week, and not fucking Friday. Or yeah. Or, and then we got into this conversation at your house where we were watching the Heat game or something. I'm like, oh, that's pretty funny, Willie. Oh, oh Willie, oh, you're very funny. Maybe, maybe, Why don't you just make? I go, maybe so that should be your social media strategy. Shut the fuck up. Is bullshit, it? Bullshit. At 11:59. Bull. Yes. Okay. The only, only. The, I give him credit for one thing. I should have posted all these on on my on YouTube. Which I didn't. He told me that in the beginning. Oh, I and did, you did, I did that. to post the videos on YouTube oh, daily. Yeah. I post them on Instagram. You can still do them on YouTube. Yeah, but it's, uh, all the copyright issues sucks. I just make up words and I sing it. If not, I'll make a sound. I just make up words. That's what I do, cause my name is
Don't do that. You want a drink? No. I'll get you a drink. No, I'm good with water. You know, I have a liver problem. Yeah, Man. But, yeah, but, See, yeah. look, battery's running out. All right, Willie. Uh, so this was the good Ooh. little detour. Oh, me and Willie. Detour? Were, like, we, me and Willie were going to make it so <laughs> sound like such an exciting experience. We're going to have another vlog such in a couple a of weeks detour. when we go like, see the comedy like, show down. Detour is where you don't want to go. It's like, detour is like you got to go around. This is a great detour, Willie. Yeah, you're a good detour, uh, Willie. I'm, I'm in, oh, I'm the detour? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to show you a tour, okay? You know, it's a standard. Cool, but it's nice, right? And especially, bro, if, there, if there's not a lot of people staying here. You got a ball, dude. Hey, bro, yo, you want to get you want to get worked, bro, on the three pointers, bro? Come on, bro. Who would win a three point contest between me and you? That's <laughs> not you. <laughs> Are you sure, Willie? 100%. Willie, you know I'm pretty good. We we used to, we used to play pickup ball, bro. 1,000%. Bro, a fireplace. Tomorrow. Hey, this is so romantic, Willie. Me and you by the yeah, fireplace. Exactly what I was like, hey, we're not here. <laughs> <laughs> In the most corner. <laughs> cool. By the pool. By the bathroom. You know, we toss a couple ribeyes on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks you would think I would bring your ribeye. Willie, if I go to Charlie's, what, what would I get? You? You like ribeyes, bro. Okay. But, but what, what, what's the most, the best, but the cheapest steak you can get at Charlie's the chicken no steak bro I want a, I want a New York strip Sorry, it's, it's prime dude okay what's the cheapest New York strip you got prime how much 75. fuck bro 75 bucks 18 ounces bro that's the smallest ribeye you, I mean New York strip you that's the New, okay what's the smallest steak you can get at Charlie's six ounce bag Fuck Wagyu. Yeah, you said the smallest little recipe. All right, what about fillets? Six ounce Wagyu fillet. How much is it? 72 bucks. Bro, when does steak become so fucking expensive, bro? When you pay for it. I like the Longhorn, bro. I used to get a steak for fucking 26 bucks. Tops. Uh, Ribeye or New York strip. I like it. <laughs> Yo, you look like you just got done running in 1973 with those shoes. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> Pre-Fontaine. <laughs> what, what do you think about my socks, Willie? No, that's even, let's not talk about the shoes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Willie, we should do it. We should do a what is that TikTok sound? Esta tú no la tienes. Esta tú no la tienes. My boy got on the. Do you like those videos, Willie? I did one for the for my green boat shoes. The ya tú tú esta tú no la tienes. That's all of them. It got a lot of views. Yeah, yeah, like hey, my TikTok's blowing up, bro. Yo, add me on TikTok. I don't post anything on Uber. I know. I'm talking to my sus subscribers. <laughs> You're looking at me saying things. Is it weird to see me pointing a camera at me? No. Or is it just like, oh, Mario's just crazy? Yes. Uh, bro, I don't post Uber related material on TikTok and people follow me there. I think that's a better strategy. It's like you don't want to put all your shit, the same shit, on every platform, you know? Like my Mondays are mostly on Instagram. They're only on Instagram. Yeah, no, or you Facebook put them on Twitter too? I got a Facebook Monday oh. page. But the, like the original, like first year. Bro, this is going to be a pain in the ass because every time I mention something, I have to show it. So then I have to download it and put it in the fuck. The original Mondays, the first year is gone from the Facebook deletion. You can't get that recovered? Oh, it was like an alligator or something, right? That was a big flop. To me, bro. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Tell me how fucked up you are. <laughs> no, that's not funny, man. Oh. Okay, fine. I, I, I took out my phone, and my room key was kind of stuck in it, and I was, like, moving around. I was like, I was like, whoa, what's going on, dude? You're tripping, bro. I'm not tripping, but I was like... I wasn't even touching it, it was moving, it was crazy. I thought you were gonna say, I thought 
my screen was showing my hotel room key and I'm like, wait, I don't remember this being digital. All right, well, Willie wants to give a little tour of his brand new car. I don't want to give car. any tour of anything, dude. You want me to give a tour of my new car? No, <laughs> no Willie has asked me. No, fuck you, bro. You I told me, no, let's go get the car key. Now you're putting it on me. No, because you told me to get the car key before. Hey, bro. All right, so it's the sport version. Escorts. Honda HRV Sport. Okay, yeah, we, we're your, what's your address? Okay. Remember my, my old license plate was Willie Q? You that? What happened to that? I didn't want to pay anymore. Hey, nice, bro. It's like matte black, everything. Yeah, 18 inch. No, it's not matte black. Well, bro, bro, it's, but it's black on black. That's what I mean. Yes. It's nice. All right, bro, let, let me borrow it so I can Uber, bro. Sure. All right, show me, show me the bells and whistles of a new car that you're not used to. Ugh. Okay. Well, it's nice. Oh, bro, it's got that new car smell, bro. That's right. Oh, yeah, bro. What's L, well, bro, what's L, bro? Um, I don't know, but... Mine's this is DUI, my, dude. My car on is DUI. It's, it's gonna not, be well, You're not driving, bro. I'm not just, yeah, yeah, the car's on is DUI. Alright, so... I got a DUI in 1999, so I know DUI. You did? I never got yeah. a DUI. I'm surprised because, yes. you know, I had I had some drinking days back. What the fuck's this, bro? It's a Vulcan beanie. That's how I, I was trying to sleep when I was coming home dude, in the fucking morning. Look, can you look... Well, can, can you, you look driving? anything this else? Is, can you look more like Cypress Hill, bro? Look at this fucking send dog. <laughs> send dog's Cuban, you know that? Well, half Cuban, he's not full Cuban. Does, does this USB connect to Android Auto here or something? Yeah, everything. Yeah. Android and, and app. Yeah. Mm, it's nice. You know, every car screen looks similar. This, yeah, this is 2023 though. Yeah, this nice. is the newest car I've ever had in my entire fucking life, bro. Well, it has to be because it's the newest car anybody yeah, has. Yeah, but I've never had a new car, bro. Un carro del año. If, if you're what, Cuban, uh, if you're Cuban, but you have a carro del año, you're, you're, you're fucking... You it. say that like everybody in the and their mother has had a new car in their You life. have had a new car, you're fucking... Okay, fine. I, when I got my first job at the Herald, I bought the Volkswagen Beetle. And then the other fucking... The, 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 the Kia. The, yeah. Exactly. So I've had two, two new cars oh, in my life. And then he hasn't had another car because it works. Yeah, fuck. Uh, in those two years, uh, those two cars had plenty of almost fucking two decades. I've had seven fucking cars. This All is right. the first but car. You had cars fucking... that you liked too. You had that uh, that Mustang, that green Mustang. It was cool. And then didn't you have a Jeep? Candy or apple green. Didn't you have a Jeep? Or Army green. Yeah, sixteen. See, so don't I... act like you didn't. Oh, poor Willie. He never had a new car. No more DUI, bro. You got my car. Right. I don't want. Well, it's nice, bro, and I like the the it's it's great interior. I like the honeycomb feel here. Yeah. It's so much so much room in the back for all the Seats surfboards, nice. bro. It's it's a dope car, bro. Bro, don't fucking mess it it's, up with sand it's not and a, shit. It, it sucks. If, if you're in a race, this is not the car, okay? But it's a <laughs> but sport, if you're bro. Drive somewhere I far, bet you this has better pickup than most dude, cars. I, I didn't show you my gas, but uh, I, I in Orlando I filled up the tank. I have. A little, I don't even have a quarter tank left. Oh. I have more than a quarter tank. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's All better right. than what I think it's funny not what you think it's funny. Yeah, but you thinking it's funny makes it funnier for me for some reason. Okay, Willie, we're leaving. So say goodbye to Willie. Goodbye, we. We are leaving. Yeah. Who is we? We. Me what? and my subscribers. Oh. Subscribe. There's no extra. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, Willie. There's no extra. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in a couple weeks, bro. So, listening to the group chat. Several people on the group chat have already mentioned how this week in particular has been their worst week of the year. And I can see that. I can definitely see that. But, well, we're here at the airport lot, and we're plowing through. All right, well, that was nice to hang out and catch up with my buddy Willie. I don't see him very often. Uh, he lives in Orlando, and um, last time I saw him was when I went to go do Disney. But I didn't film him. I, we went to Sports Grill. I mean, uh, where did we go? Ale House. 
we ate there and we caught up, but I didn't film anything. So it was nice to uh, catch up with them. And we're going to go attend that Merman podcast uh, comedy show at the Comedy Inn down here in US 1. All right, we wait. 12.30, you know what? I don't know. I feel like this is going to be an all-nighter. I'm going to get a ride from here. Maybe get something to eat. Energize. And everybody on the group chat saying, after 1 o'clock, get ready to start bringing people from the beach, from downtown, from nightclubs. It might be a late night, and then I got those reservations to save me starting at 4.15. So, hopefully, maybe we can salvage tonight into tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow morning, I'll just rest in the daytime. Edit the vlog. I didn't get a radar, and it's Q full, and it's 12.45... I'm just gonna get out of here. You know what? I'm hungry. I knew you caught him. I'm gonna go home. Maybe do some grove rides. I don't know. I just know I'm gonna have a long night. But I think I should just plow through it. But I could do that at home. Maybe catch up on the editing of this vlog. As a matter of fact, maybe, you know, I filmed a lot with Willie. Maybe I need to call it a night, as far as the vlog's concerned. Well, this airport lot all of a sudden got filled. I think there's everybody's here and there's no rides. Everybody's waiting for a ride out of here. Energize, and everybody in the group chat saying, after one o'clock, Get ready to start bringing people from the beach. All right, well, I put my clips into the timeline and the last clip or something, it's already over an hour, so. I mean, you, I gotta edit some of this stuff, but it's usually, I only edit like four or five minutes out of the thing, so. This looks like it's gonna be an hour long fucking vlog. And uh, it's 1.45 a.m. right now. I'm about to head back out. And knock out these reservations that start. So I got a long night. I don't want to bother filming at all. If something great happens, I'll film it with my phone. But I doubt it. Leave a like, comment, and a sub. Subscribe with a B, B, B. Or if you think I'm sus, then subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.